Hello everyone, welcome back to Disciples Liberation. Right where we left off. Uh, can I even drink out of these anymore? Since I poisoned them? I don't know. But we're going to hop into the Forgotten Forges. Let's see, it's considered hard. So I don't know... Where are we at here? Workshop Troubles. Where's this one at? Oh, that's here too. So the hell is our. <laughs> well, there's the door we gotta disable, huh? We're only level 38, so we gotta be careful of what level mobs are around here. I've already been in here. Yeah, you're level 40. We're not going to do that. There's a lot of people at a level 40. We'll come back to this. Because I don't... We'll try to see where his tools are. There's no map. We'll come back. We'll probably go to the next zone. And then we'll come back here. It is a side quest. So I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, how do we get God's head here? Right here. Before you, you see a, go uh, a God vein. Pure mana oozing forth from the decaying brain of Wotan. The power pulses through everything around well, you. Well, this is gruesome. Oh, it's strange, though. I feel like the air itself is charged with power. It is. Around you, the sounds of battle and cries of pain ring out. You think of all the fighting you had to do to get here, of how precious this power is. The air seems to grow closer. Your vision goes darker. You feel a voice ring through you once more. You have come to me. The voice is deafening, yet makes no sound. You realize now that you're standing at its source. Are you Wotan? Wotan? Uh, yes, Avi. The big dead god is still Wotan. <laughs> Wotan's power fuses you in intoxicating, enveloping, overwhelming. Yet everything you have ever wanted and everything in life you need. You too are. have power, gloaming child. You too need power. Look around you. Lust and madness. Malice and want. And you between all. Well, you try to break from the voice echoing within you. It resonates louder. Ask, it seems to say. Why are you speaking to me? I can hear you. But you're supposed to be dead. Echo Botan's voice quiets just enough for the din of the fighting to break through to you. Uh, Abby, things are about to get messy in here. We've got both elves and undead incoming. Is your power to shape the light and darkness around you? Or to pull both within yourself? Suddenly the echoes silence. The whole world goes still. Ryan's speaking as if you were from a world and a lifetime away. What do we do, Abby? M seems to stop. Wotan's voice is clear now. Near, but not loud. The undead and elves vie for the power my remains would grant them. And you stand between and above them. Hmm. You've seen the faults of both. Addiction, bloodlust, cruelty. Perhaps their faults are your own. I've seen goodness in them too. The races of this world have goodness in them, despite those faults. Such is your judgment of them? You are then fit to stand in judgment? The world ripples and rumbles around you. Impossible you made Wotan laugh. Will you trust them with this power? Would you trust yourself with it? Perhaps no one should have it. I deserve the power of the gods. Not even gods deserve their power. You're right. No one deserves to have such power, especially not the gods. Look at what Nevendar has become under you. 
Ah, but is that an answer? Power calls, and rare indeed is one who will not answer that call. You must decide what to do with it. So you'd give this power to me? Even gods do not give power, gloaming child. In this world, at this moment, I simply cannot stop it from being taken any longer. Twisted faces of all those seeking the mana leer at you from the shadows. Ryan's voice comes to you again, though through water. What do we do, Abby? What indeed? Well, we'll work on the undead. Kill all the elves. The elves have gone mad with their lust for mana. They can't be trusted with this power. Reinforce the undead. Melendrak falls back a step, shocked into silence. He hangs his head and refuses to watch the slaughter. <laughs> Muriel's face twists in anger and confusion as she wrestles once again with the conflicting loyalties, but she does not try to stop you. Rise and fight again. <laughs> There's no way I can make anybody, everybody happy. Bring me carnage. Except for maybe take it myself. You look at your target, their determination, a mask on the face of fear. What do we got? Winter Witch, Assassins. What are you? Dragon. Huh. So they got all get poisons. Everybody gets teamwork. Old dragon. Oh yeah. I want a dragon. Obvious first. You know what? Give everybody fire. They're gonna poison me. We'll burn them. Feel my blades bite. Uh, come here. I can't go that far. Come here. I'll sneak past them. I don't think these guys have AOE. Death is death. You guys do though. Rush them. Die. Oh gosh, that hurts so bad. Confused. I like it. Um, yeah, what ranged? You guys, the rest of you are ranged. Bones are for crushing. We'll just hit him. Will you? Uh, you wait. I'm going to be moving people. Fire. Galleon greets you. Ho. Ouch. By the seasons of my body. Aim and shoot. Ho. Now what are the winter witches gonna do to me? Did I just bring him out here to his death? By the seasons of my body. I have my shot. Ho. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that worked out. I can live with that. All right. Um. Actually, you just stay there. You're gonna need heal. Hope that she heals him. He's gonna need it. Come over here. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll see if that's enough. Oh, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. For We're going to do the same thing. Oh, he made it. I got to get him out of this, though. Don't go away. Oh, I don't. <laughs> All right. Um, man, you blocked me where I'm going to go. Fury. I go here. Move out. Heal him. You're done. Now you see me. Feel the snake fight. Nice hit. Fantastic. My people will kill me. I need you out of here. I'm here. Eagle. Boom. <laughs> no, just help out. This way. Got to get our people out of here. Galleon can shoot. Shoot her. Okay. Oh, I can't move. <laughs> Uh, I guess you're done. Oh. You're probably gonna die here. Oh. By the seasons of my body. Can't get too close. I have my shot. Oh. Okay, she's still alive. You're gonna die. You could die right here, right? Yeah. Okay, you're done. He did like nothing. <laughs> We're going to spend some time in here. Gonna come up. Can't get quite get there yet. <laughs> she didn't make it. Oh, good. And we got cannon fodder right there. Can I hit them from here? You. Face your death. The liberator reigns. I'll sneak past them. Feel my blade fight! You're gonna be dead. Ah. Nope, not gonna make it that far in my No. This Come should here, be fun. Will you just die? Nice. Let's get out of there. And your turn. I mean, just stay. I mean, it's. Aim and shoot. Oh. Oh yeah, come closer. I like that. Yeah, 
you're too far away. You guys just gonna hang out back here. Get out of there. Okay. Nice hit. through that. Makes perfect sense. Try to block some of our way out of here. Okay, can you nuke moving from here? Face your death. And then Orion should kill her. Now you see me? Feel my blade fight. Uh, what are we gonna lose in rep here? There were support. The undead pushed the elves back with the briefest of her spikes. Negative ten. I expected more. A part of undead filling themselves with the god vein. The necromatic energy is brought to a frenzy by being in its presence. They dig and scrabble, trying to claw their way into the vein itself. Decaying body parts snap away unnoticed as they tear into the vein of They're power. They're gonna rupture the vein! Back! Everyone! Know me! Power explodes out of the vein. White light novas th uh, through you. Around you, elves and undead explode into gory mist. Bone and sinew make themselves before you. And then you... Two are gone. Oh. Wasn't expecting that at all. Avi, someone else is here. Your hand moves instinctively to your weapon, but you stop, shocked. Orion. The figure ahead of you is Orion, but Orion is already standing next to you. Whoa, hey, who the... You stay right there, me! The other Orion only smiles. He stares at you, or perhaps through you. His eyes never quite seem to focus. Who are you? What do you want? You came to me, gloaming child. You and the other scavengers who picked at my corpse for whatever power you could glean. Wotan? Yes, or something very near to Wotan. Im impossible. The dead god. I just like him. He just has this smug look on his face, and he's always seemed like he's kind of happy, too. Why do you look like a riot? Explain this illusion. Wotan turns his unfocused gaze to Orion. He seems unimpressed. I was once the patron god of the dwarfs. Perhaps this diminutive form is how your mind is capable of interpreting me. Wotan turns his strange gaze back to you. Now then. Wait, did a god just insult me for being short? <laughs> what is this place? I don't understand. We were at your grave. The god vein ruptured. This isn't the Four Heavens. You are the gloaming child, Aviana. The twilight between light and dark. This is a place of neither. Then where is this? Do you not suspect? This is Erdva. Word resonates, Erdva. The corporeal anchoring of the ethereal. Erdva, the madness between worlds. The elves say it is where the shades of the gods rest. The necromancers call it the Plain of Slights, realm of neither living nor dead. Aren't you dead? We saw your body. It was decaying. You're dead. I did wage war against the elven god Galleon and won. I tore his heart out and hurled it into the sun. I did fall to Salonial's rage. Mortis, the goddess that rose from that rage, did kill me. And all the dwarves of Nevendar out of revenge. But Nevendar is not the only plane, and Wotan 
is not the only Wotan. Hmm. All right. Tell me why you brought us here. You're barely able to think of a question before Orion interrupts. Somewhat overwhelmed. All right. So, some kind of god realm, or whatever, or... And hear me out. We're all dying of mana poisoning and having a deathbed vision. We wouldn't be having the same vision. Maybe I'm having the vision, and I just imagined you said that? Oh, wait. Maybe my whole life was a vision. Maybe you were never real. Maybe I'm not real. I'm spiraling. Avi, make this better. Talk to the godman with my face and fix this. <laughs> Arya puts his head in his hands. Wotan's grin shifts slightly. There's something indulgent. In. Ardva is difficult for the mortal mind. This is the plane of slights where the corporeal forms of gods exist. How can you exist at all? I still don't understand how you can exist at all. Unless Mortis raises you, once you're dead, you're dead. Wotan is dead in Nevendar. Wotan is alive in Erdfa. You are light and you are darkness. But you are still you. I am a dream, a memory, a premonition. But I am Wotan. What else can you tell me about this place? Tell me more about this plane of slights. I don't even know what that means, frankly. Ardva, the plane of slights. A place where shadows of gods rest. Oh, the tatters of my memory of such a place. Corruption has seeped into this memory. The pollution of the rot and royal of Nevendar. Your memory of Ardva? You mean we're inside your memory? We're in your mind? Wotan almost chuckles. It's unsettling. No, and yes, you are beginning to know me, to know the divine. There is no other way to explain it to a mortal mind. This is real, but it is also a memory, a memory that rots. But if this is a memory, does that mean I've already been here? Are you remembering me? Child, you've always been here. And you will never be here. All right. Can I just stop pretending that I understand and go straight to hating this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else can you tell me about yourself? You said, know me. You're Wotan. I know that. What else am I supposed to know? We must know the corruption and creation that trails in our wake. In your world, I hammered the mountains and the valleys. I watched over the dwarves for a time. They led me to disagree with the gods Galleon and Salonio. I ripped the heart from Galleon's chest and threw it into the sun. Melandrax's eyes narrow bitterly, but he holds his tongue. <laughs> well earned. Salonio struck me down. Then to save her love's heart, she threw herself into the sun. She returned as the burned horror, Mortis. You think you detect the slightest twitch of Omeriel's cheek as she glares at Wotan with real stoicism. You should be thanked for giving us such a magnificent goddess. I murder and am murdered. I create and am recreated. The connections between gods, between mortals, between worlds. They corrupt, they grow. You are a nexus of connections, Gloaming Child. The potential corruption that follows in your wake. Know the gods and learn. We need to find a way out of here. Enough of this madness. I'm leading us out of here. The corruption seeping in from the rot of Nevendar eats at your return, even as it eats at my mind. Cleanse Erdva, and you may yet find a way. All right. Good. So there is a way home from this place. A way to exist, gloaming child. Here, you are the half-born memory of a dream. But that is at least something. The price of failure in this universe is nothing. Okay. Can't do that. What am I to run into in here? Word of Chains. You see... 
Altadian, the jailer you encountered in the White Lands in Wotan's grave ahead. He's draped in chains and is idly playing with a cruelly barbed hook. Okay, so you're not actually the jailer we met. What fever dream god are you then? I am Ars, the Lord of Chains. Of course you are. I am the binder and the keeper. You are not supposed to be here. You are supposed to be chained in place. Speak of chains. Earn death. Binder and keeper? Sounds like glorified servitude. Oh, it is. Gloriously so. Why have I never heard of you? In all the pantheons of all the gods, no one's ever written about you or spoken about you. No legends, no songs. You are of the tenth epoch of Nevendar, but there are many more eras and ages, rises and falls, than what those epochs would reveal to you. I am proof of that. What are you doing here? If you're the god of chains, are you the reason the gods are trapped here? Trapped? The Erdva, the plane of slights, is but one of an infinite number of realms in which we exist. The gods are not trapped. You are the god of captives? So you're the god of those held captive? Not just the jailer, but the jailed. Not just the chain, but those in chains. I am the whip that cracks, and I am the skin beneath. The same could be said of you, Nephilim. Oh, yeah. We're leaving the plane of slights. Corrupted tissue roils and hisses in agony. Whatever it is, it is no more. So it was this thing. Yeah. Decisions, decisions. Who are you? The galleon. Before you stands Cowan, but the madness in his eyes is nothing like you saw in Nevendar. Cowan of the White Lands. What are you doing here? When the figure speaks, his voice changes from a gentle whisper of the winds and trees to a horrid scream of a beast. I have become many things, but I was Galleon. Muriel Grassin bows her head. Melendrek looks at his god with a naked disappointment. Galleon, the god of the elves. Galleon pulls his hair and claws at his skin. Galleon, god of the elves, of the trees, of many things, and then nothing. Wotan ripped my heart out, but gods don't die, right? You look around at strange memory plane of the dead god that surrounds you. I've noticed. Why don't you return to the elves? The elves are split, desperate. They need you. The schism, the epoch that fated the elves to divide, was inevitable. Nevendar is a land of divisions. It is cursed. How was the world formed? I've only heard legends of how you created life on Nevendar. What actually happened? We were lovers, all of us. Bethrazen, Salonio, Wotan, and me. Bethrazen formed Nevendar, and it was the first schism. It tore us apart. Salonio and I clung together. Her tears were the rivers, my seed were the trees. Your world was the greatest creation in the universe, and it was doomed from the start. How did you truly die? The scribes write the tale, your heart was torn out by Wotan and hurled into the sun. But why? My people say it was Wotan's jealousy, but it was not. It was fate. The schism was coming. Wotan's many divisions to many planes was coming. Salonio's death and rebirth was coming. The fate hand clasped us. We are gods, but against our fate, we are nothing. We must come back to Nevendar. We're finding a way back to Nevendar, Galleon. Come with us. Your people need you. She brought me back. But she was... And I was... I came back as Galleon the Twisted, Galleon the Divided, Galleon the Shifting. I cannot go back again. My lord, please. We need you whole and returned. We need you to make us whole again. Shift all you want, but return. Wipe the world clear of our enemies, and you will be renewed. No. No. I must not be bent to others, not again. Not a creature of your world, just... A creature. The alien steps away, his voice following after him like the echo of a babbling brook, or the cries of a wounded animal. Okay. Can't go any further there. Ooh, the Hive Father. 
see Sebastian. Sebastian throws himself to his knees before himself. It's a strange sight. Who are you, really? I am the High Father. The angels are my children. The Empire are my children. You are all my children. But, uh, Father, you don't speak to mortals. You don't speak to anyone. Orion, hold your tongue. My father ignores our Orion. He looks only at you. But you, you are unique amongst my children, aren't you? Unique is one way to say it. Yeah. The demon in you won't quite let you bow, but you nod your head respectfully. Unique is a good way to say it. I am the Nephilim, Aviana. I am the child of Haras, and your child, Inoel. You are all my children, Aviana. But my light throws shadow, and some of my children have slipped into that shadow. Uh, why don't you save Nevadar? The people of Nevendar pray. For epochs they pray. Why don't you answer those prayers? Your world, child. I never wanted it. Nevendar was a mistake. An impetuous flourish from one of my wayward. It is true, I have often turned from your world. Sebastian tries not to gra gasp. He very nearly succeeds. For Sandre stifles a so soft sob. Do you hear people's prayers? People love you. They dedicate their minds, they mar their bodies, they throw their life into praising you. Child. If I did not ask for them, do you think I asked for their adulation? I will not celebrate your victories just as I do not relish your defeats. Love is not indulgence. That father sighs, he shifts his weight, and is strangely physical for sir, such a being. Why did you send my mother to Nevendar? My mother was the angel Inuel. She was sent to Nevendar to destroy it, on your orders. At my displeasure, universes dissolve into entropy. At my whim, stars explode into being. The greatest gift I can give Nevender is my indifference. Consider it a blessing. Why are you here? You act indifferent, but you're here and you're speaking to me. There must be a reason. Because you are something new. Something I will need to turn my attention to, for better or for worse. What does that mean? Something I'll do? Something I won't do? What do you mean? You have time yet before I turn my eyes to you. Be strong, child. That doesn't sound good at all. In a violent, sizzling mess, corruption hurls itself away from you. It cannot be described as... That's two. Feels like we're getting close. Oh, Mortis. See Pelma, the vampire you encountered in Wotan's grave. She smiles at you. The image seems to ripple. She's beautiful, elven, and luminous. Then she is horrid, rotting, and ragged. Gas at the figure before you holds up something shining and bloody. It's the heart of a god. Raises her hand, beautiful and light, rotting and burnt. Mortis, goddess of undeath. Charlotte attempts to glare hotly at the dead eyes of Mortis. She fails. Charlotte lowers her gaze and bows to her head. My queen! My everything! Ejimar prostrates himself before the shifting image of the horrid before you. Or the horror before you. You see him fumble at his robes and they decide not to watch him any longer. The dead and kneeling goddess grins and looks around at your party. You see both beauty and skeletal mocking on her inner face. Soon. And with that, Mortis is gone. What? That was quick. Uwajin? I don't know who this is. You see a figure clad in shadow, her face obscured by her hood, lounging by the last pestule of corruption. By the tilt of her head, she appears to be admiring Your name. It. Uwajin, goddess of horrors that sleep beneath the waves. Maybe. A big sword in the chest. Why have I never heard of you? I've heard of no such god. I thought Seloniel was goddess to the Mer people. I am Kuwaijin, goddess of winds and wastes. Maybe. 
Maybe? You seem uncertain. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of whores and bastards. Maybe. Aviana Billion. Kuwai Jin. My name is Aviana. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of lies and truths. Maybe. Ah, uh, what is this? If you're playing some kind of game, Kuwai Jin, I'm in no mood. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of murder and love. Maybe. Who are you State truly? your true name and do it now. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of dream and horror. Maybe. <laughs> I'm Aviana, Liberator of Nevendar. You're many titled. I understand the burden. Lately, they've been calling me Liberator. And Drunkard. Well, that one's at least deserved. Maybe even a bit of an understatement. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of gibbets and nooses. Maybe. Roll your eyes, seemingly in unison with those around you. This is going somewhere you, you wouldn't know it. Who are you again? Right. I'm Aviana. And you? Kuwai Jin. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of lust and slaking. Maybe. <laughs> so long. I am leaving. <laughs> I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of beggars and fools. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, um. Get the quest pulled up. For map? Yep. Nowhere else I can go. Kuai Jin. I am Kuai Jin, goddess of the fading light. Maybe. Where are you again? Right. I'm Aviana, and you? I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of shards and cracks, maybe. I just need to keep talking? Right. I'm Aviana, and you? I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of rent skin, maybe. I am leaving. I am Kuwai Jin, goddess of harvest and fallow, maybe. Oh. Third Bakers released. Kugus Chris Wintry Air rushes past you. You know it as well. Diamond We're Arsenal. doing it. There's a way out ahead. Alright. I guess that's all I needed to do. At the precipice between the plains of Slights and Nevendar, you stop. You step forward. You may never return. Continue. Step forward, I'm intensely confident and nervous. Nevada waits. The haze around you settles in a low fog of glowing light and dissipates completely. Back. Knives, check. Body, check. Uh, boyish good looks. Ooh, check. Check and mate. You look great, Ori. And me? No, you look great. You always look great. All right, nervously attempts to change the conversation. So what do you think that place was? Erdva? The Plain of Slights? I, I, I have no idea. Part of me hopes we never know and never have to go back. What matters is we're free and safe. 
No argument there. I know we say this a lot these days, but this hasn't exactly gone to plan. No, but the elves and undead both just heard the message. Ilion is here, and has as much a right to Wotan's grave as anyone. And if Erdva was the afterlife, I'd say the gods heard it too. It's leveled up too. All right, so where are we at on the map? Yeah, we're at God's Head. I still want to go over here with the Dragon's Enclave. Um, I don't know if I can, I mean, being level 40, me being lower level, I don't know if I really want to attempt it. But we're going to go up to the dragons up here and see what they are. What quests they have or anything. Going the right way? Yeah, kind of. All right, so we got the dragons up here. I don't know how dangerous it's going to be, but we are going to do this next episode. So I'd just like to thank you all for spending some time here. If you did enjoy this, hit that like button. And if you are new here and like to see more content like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.